Today we're going to read Elbow Grease, Fast Friends, written by John Cena and illustrated by Howard McWilliam. When your brothers are monster trucks, they tend to play rough. Catch me if you can! Especially when they're faster. Gotcha! Or smarter. I've caught him. He simply hasn't realized it yet. He's got a remote control cord on him. Or wilder. You catch me! Or bigger than you. Hey, where'd you go, Bo? Zoom. Splat. Elbow grease needed a break from playing with flash, crash, pinball, and tank. Those are his brothers. Mel, the mechanic, invited him to come to the junkyard to look for spare parts. You okay, Bo? I think I bruised my bumper. The junkyard was sprawling, stuffed with discarded parts and broken down machines. To elbow grease, it seemed like a dump. To Mel, it was the most exciting place in the whole world. She dug through the junk piles with her shovel as if hunting for treasure. A jigamabobber! I could use one of these! How long is this going to take exactly? Elbow Grease went off to explore. He climbed to the top of the highest heap of junk and that's where he saw it. Saw what? In a far corner of the junkyard, a sleek two-wheeled vehicle flipped and whipped and twirled through a scraptacular stunt course made from scrunched up chunks of metal, pools of broken glass, and tangles of razor wire. Wowie kazowie! I have never seen a truck like that before! That's not a truck, Bo. That's a motorcycle. Flip, whip, The gleaming purple monster cycle was named Chopper. This is Chopper. And when she finished training, she noticed that she had an audience. Bravo, bravo. I hate to admit it, but that was impressive. Mel was clapping so hard that her hands hurt and elbow grease could feel a little bit jealous. Who built this amazing course for you? What, this old thing? I slapped it together myself, actually. Mel was flabbergasted. It was better than anything she had ever built. Hey, she built me, didn't she? Chopper recognized elbow grease from the king of the crud videos that she had seen online. Say, aren't you the kid who led the team that beat Motozilla? Never give up. That's you, right? Looks like you got a fan, Bo. Who, me? Gosh. Well, I I'm Grelbo Lease. Uh, uh, I mean, sorry, I'm Elbow Gross. Uh, anyway, nice to meet you. Mel invited Chopper back to the demolition derby to meet the whole team. Bo carried the spare parts and Mel that Mel had collected and followed as close behind as he could. Whee! Hey, wait for me! When Chopper arrived at the demolition derby, Pinball was intrigued. Hey look, it's a monster cycle. Flash was stunned. I've only ever seen one in pictures. Crash was amazed. How does she keep her balance? Tank was excited to play. Who's ready to rumble? Go ahead, Chopper. This will be fun to watch. At first, the trucks were impressed with Chopper's speed, skill, strength, and style, but their enthusiasm didn't last long. Catch me if you can, boys. Well, Chopper was faster than Flash. She drives like a maniac. Hurry up. Chopper was smarter than Pinball. Gotcha! She's cheating. Chopper was more daring than Crash. Yeehaw! She's wild. 
And despite being smaller, Chopper was tougher than Tank. Oops. She plays too rough. Somebody could get hurt. Listen to all those sore losers whine. monster trucks were frustrated. They weren't used to losing. We don't want to play anymore. Did I do something wrong? I was just messing around. They're just jealous. What they need is a little more gumption. That's my thing, by the way. You don't do gumption, do you? Ignore the big babies. A little competition might remind them that there's always room for improvement. Mel plugged elbow grease into recharge and offered Chopper some gas for lunch. Actually, I'm electric too, but I don't need a plug. I charge wirelessly. Elbow grease was shocked. What? No plug? Mel was impressed. Wow. Induction charging. I wish I'd have thought of that. After lunch, Chopper could tell something was bothering her new friend. Anything wrong? Maybe I can help. I'm pretty good at solving problems. You think you're good at everything. That's why no one likes to play with you. Insecurity surged through Elbow Grease's circuits and he shouted before he was thinking about his words. Chopper was hurt. She raced out of the garage without saying a word. Chopper, wait! The trucks all gathered around. Well, that was kind of harsh, Bo. Yeah, but I can't say I disagree. When someone's better than you at something that you're the best at, it feels bad. But Mel doesn't seem to feel bad, even though Chopper is better at building things. Mel threw her hands up in the air and she began shouting. That's because when I see someone do better than me, I feel motivated to work harder. It's a little something called gumption. Ever heard of it? Elbow Grease was embarrassed and his brothers realized that Mel was right. They decided to go apologize to Chopper. at the junkyard, Chopper had never felt more alone. She thought she had finally made some friends, but then she acted like a show-off, and she pushed him away. She was so frustrated that she began to destroy her beautiful stunt course. As Chopper crashed and smashed through the scraps, she knocked loose at the base of a giant junkyard crane. She was shouting too loudly to hear the terrible creak as the crane began to fall. I don't care if I ever have a friend. I'll do it all alone. I don't need anyone's help. Watch out! Crash! The falling crane scraped and sparked against Elbow Grease's bumper as he shoved Chopper out of the way at the very last second. You saved me. What are friends for? Mel and the trucks helped Chopper put the junkyard back in the world. I'm sorry I was mean. You should never be ashamed to show off your talents. I was just jealous. It's okay, Bo. I was jealous too. I've always wanted to be part of the team. Jealous of us? Well, there's only one thing to say to that. Thank you? No tank. Welcome to the team. Thank you. Together, we're stronger. The end.